All right, let's look at the city of Hyderabad now. Runa Fukan with us on the line. Hi, Runa, what's your question? Hi, um, I'm planning to invest in a 2 BHK Shubham Blooms by Shubham Builders and Developers. And uh, my budget is 30 to 35 lakhs. Your advice on this? All right. Shubham Blooms by Shubham Builders and Developers. This is close to Gachi Bauli and her budget is about 30 to 35 lakhs for a 2 BHK. Samir, your views? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can go ahead with this project. Uh, positives are A, this project is getting ready this year itself. Uh, in line with the weighted average price of the market, this is at 3200 rupees a square foot, whereas the weighted average price of the market is at 3000. Uh, being having proximity to Gachi Bali in Lingampalli is uh, always a good property investment to make. We've been recommending all our viewers to buy into Hyderabad if they feel like it because Hyderabad is uh, very lowly priced compared to the other tier one cities and there's a lot of catch up that can happen over a period of time. Total land area of the project is one acre, so it's a small project, but 65 units, so density is fine. It'll be ready by the last quarter this year, and amenities also are there, like uh, a shuttle court area and a gymnasium, multi-purpose hall. Pool is missing over here. Uh, let's look at the uh, data points of this micro market. Inventory overhang is very safe at 14 months. Weighted average price is 3,000, and the price appreciation is decent at 8.5% on an analyzed basis. The other two projects that you can consider are Gayatri Classic, also getting ready this year at 3300. Available with the developer, this project uh, is close to the railway station of Lingampalli, around 800 meters, and ha offering a swimming pool, rainwater harvesting, and no common walls. These are the USPs uh, of this project, and it's a G plus five story in two blocks, 165 apartments, a slightly bigger project. Flora's Paradise by Asian Palli, Arisana Palli, sorry, Homes. At 2900, uh, this is the cheapest project uh, located in Nangampalli and walkable distance from the Nangampalli railway station. G plus four story project, again, uh, very basic because the price is low, so not too many clubhouse facilities, but if you're looking at an affordable home, this could be the right or property for you. You can pick it up from the developer and the project is already ready. Okay, so Runa, uh, Runa, we're talking about Lingampalli, close to Gachi Bauli and high-tech city, two areas that bring in all the jobs for Hyderabad. Uh, a well-developed market with uh, decent infrastructure and major international hospitals and educational institutes and also well-connected through the highways and, and, and the MMTS. Uh, projects to look at, Gayatri Classic by Tripura Constructions and Flores Paradise by Arisanapalli Homes. Next, an email from Vishal Melmati. Vishal writes, I'm planning to buy a 2 BHK on Sarjapur Road in Bangalore. I'm looking for self-use. So looking for a project which can complete in one to two years max. My budget is around 65 lakhs. I have shortlisted Dasta Concentro, uh, Domasandra, Yama, Yamare Village, Sarjapur Road, Uber Verdant and VRR Fortuna. My budget is 65 lakhs. Three projects. So the first project shortlisted by you can be avoided. That's the concerto for better options. Uh, the project is trading at 4290 though. Uh, this total area of this project is 1.13 acres and 132 apartments. So density is pretty poor. Uh, amenities are there though. Jogging track and uh, landscaped area for community uh, gathering. But since the land size is so, so small and the project's uh, number of units is high, you'll really not get too much of a green area over there. The second project, Uber Wardent, you can definitely go ahead with great developer Mana projects, uh, 4750, although slightly more expensive project. Uh, main advantage of the project is the location. Uh, this is spread across 3.5 acres, so larger project with much better density also. And uh, completion is next year. Connectivity to the key IT cluster areas like Whitefield, Electronic City is all there in place. Uh, the project is approved and the developer is giving all the basic ek hata OC and CC. Lastly, VR Fortuna is also a good product, project uh, on Sarjapur at 4600. USP of the project is location, uh, located on the main road of Sarjapur Road before the railroad track. Wipro is 2 kilometers and schools are in the distance of 2 to 6 kilometers. Total mall is around 4 kilometers away from this. The developer also has a good track record and they have completed few projects and a few projects of theirs are under construction. Coming to some key data points and one more recommendation we have for you. Sarjapur is 22 months of inventory overhang and Sarjapur Road is 24 months. The Sarjapur weighted average price is 3650 and Sarjapur Road is 4600. Uh, the price appreciation of Sarjapur is 10% and uh, Sarjapur Road is about 9% on an analyzed basis. 
One recommendation from our side are, is Concord, Amber by Concord Group off Sarjapur Road at 4650, including VAT. This is near to the Wipro corporate office. It's a two-acre project uh, with 123 limited edition homes. The density is decent uh, and it has a clubhouse, jacuzzi, swimming pool, skating ring, basketball course. So all good amenities and located just about three kilometers from the Wipro complex. Okay, moving on, we'll stay with Bangalore and we have another question coming in from Vijay Venkatraman. Hi Vijay, go ahead. My name is Vijay. Yeah, my question is in reference to a project called Ramki One North in Yalahanka. And I'm planning to purchase it as an investment, a 2 BHK, which is going to cost me uh, about uh, 4,000 rupees a square feet. So wanted to know from the investment point of view whether it's worthwhile going ahead. Okay, Samir, what's your take on Ramki One North in Yalahanka? He has a budget of 40 to 60 lakhs. Yeah, so from an investment point of view, Yalahanka is a micro market that has done well in the recent past. The price appreciation is about 12.5% on an annualized basis. Uh, that augurs well for this micro market compared to Bangalore, uh, Bangalore appreciation. Weighted average price of the market is about 4 or 1,000 rupees a square foot, so it's reasonably decent. Inventory overhang just on the danger zone of 24 months, so that's also not too much of a concern. Ramki One North, uh, definitely Ramki Group is a big developer and a reputed developer in Bangalore. Project has great amenities like an amphitheater, swimming pool, skating ring. Uh, this is spread across 7.5 acres, so large project. Uh, construction is in three phases uh, and uh, phase one is almost ready. Then we have two more recommendations, uh, which is Prestige Royal Gardens by Prestige Group, Yelahanka between 4350 and 4400. This project is diagonally opposite to the BMS IT College. The project is approved and the project is loaded with luxury amenities like badminton court, children play area, gym, multi-purpose hall, supermarket space. And uh, lastly, you have Hoysala Habitat, Yelahanka at 3400 rupees a square foot. Located off Yelahanka Dodlapur uh, Road, opposite to Sobha Athiya. This is 293 units. Uh, it's approved by all national and private banks in for finance and has a basketball court, swimming pool, clubhouse, gym, badminton court. All the possible amenities are being offered in this project. Okay, uh, Vijay, that's a yes for Ramki One North in Yelahanka, a reputed builder in South India. And in, in your budget of 60 lakhs, you're getting a decent uh, sized 2 BHK, giving you two more options close to Ramki uh, One North. There is Prestige Royal Gardens by Prestige Group and Hoysala Habitat by Hoysala Developers. And that's it for today. We invite your questions and feedback to our email address, property at ndtv.com. And you can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and our webpage, ndtv.com slash property. Until next time, from Samir and me, take care. Goodbye.